Greg, you've had a lot of success for a lot of years in your native Ireland, but you're now at the very top of the, of the, of the tree in these Nations Cups, taking a long time to get a horse as good as this one. Uh, absolutely, Steve. Um, I suppose we produce a lot of horses at home in our yard in Ireland, and uh, a lot of the time they, they get sold. Uh, fortunately for me, uh, this horse was uh, bought by Lee Kruger of Caledonia Stables in Canada as a five-year-old and uh, I've been very lucky to produce him up through the young horse classes uh, at home in Ireland. He's always looked very promising and uh, thankfully he's come out this year and he jumped his first Super League in Lumen. He was four and clear and then we went to Le Ball and again he was four and clear and we're on the team again from tomorrow. So I'm very, very thankful for the owners to give me the opportunity to compete at this level on such a nice horse. This is never, I know there's never an easy Nations Cup and this is always a tough one, but for Ireland it's going to be very tough tomorrow because you've got to be well bang up there really, haven't you? Absolutely, we had um, an unfortunate start in Lumen, it didn't go according to plan for the team. Uh, we got it together a little better in Le Ball, we finished third and we were second of the point scoring teams there. Um, so like, we have Keen O'Connor's horse looks very promising and my own horse is a nine year old, uh, it's been so far so good for him. And of course, we have uh, on the panel as well as there's Shane uh, Bertram is always top class and Derek Kenny. So uh, we have a good a good bunch. The four hasn't been picked yet, but I think uh, so far all the five horses from the team look good. So uh, fingers crossed for a good result tomorrow. Five world class riders. Absolutely. So I think uh, there's no there's no uh, no fear of the riders in Ireland anyway. We could do with a few more horses maybe, but. You're not on your own there. A lot of countries in the same boat. That's true, that's true. Yeah. Where have you got to finish realistically tomorrow, you know, to try and be qualifying for Barcelona, do you think? Uh, well, I would be saying that we'd be hoping for a good result in Dublin next as well, but I think it's one show at a time. And I think top two result again tomorrow. Um, of the point scoring anyway. But I think that, you know, if we get a bit of a rub of the green tomorrow, that uh, we'll be knocking on the door. And it's a knock-on situation, isn't it? If you get through that round two the Europeans and two Barcelona it's Olympic qualification you're after as well isn't it? I think um, the, the main objective for us is definitely the European Championships uh, because we're not qualified for the Olympic Games so mm -hmm. it would be um, it would be an awful pity not to have an Irish team in the Olympic Games uh, so it's it's definitely a top priority for us. We'll be looking out for you tomorrow thanks for talking to us and good luck. Thanks a million Steve.